Chris with RC Worst here. Today we're going to take a look at the Arenco S Series panel. This is an electromechanical panel used for controlling single pumps. Now, typically, you're going to find the S Series panel in, uh, in residential and light commercial applications or in applications where uh, the need for an alarm system in conjunction with a simplex motor control uh, situation. The S Series panel is offered in two primary configurations, that being 120 and 230 volt. S1 being the call out for a 120 volt panel and S2 being the call out for a 230 volt panel. So now we'll uh, go over some of the standard features of the S panels. So let's go ahead and take a look. All right, so we're taking a look inside of the Arenco S panel. And this actually is an S2 panel that we're looking at here. And uh, just starting with the top right hand side of the panel, we've got the uh, on off auto switch which is going to give you the ability to uh, set the pump or set the, uh, the system to operate automatically, which is um, essentially just operating off of the floats. Uh, off, of course, is pretty self-explanatory. And then manual, it gives you the option to um, engage the pump manually, which can be quite useful if you're trying to determine if you have a problem with your floats or potentially a problem somewhere with the control system. Moving over, we've got the motor contactor here and this contactor is rated for, um, for 17 amps uh, at this time, but it is notable that on occasion uh, that rating does change. So do pay attention to that when you pick up your uh, S panel because the, there is a possibility that that has changed because historically that has occurred. But currently we're looking at a rating of uh, 17 amps on that contactor. Uh, these contactors are a, a high-end contactor. It is rated for uh, two and a half million cycles at full load amps. The, the contactor, it is rated for uh, one horsepower at 120 volt and uh, up to, it lists up to 3 horsepower at 240 volt, however, um, finding a 3 horsepower pump that operates below 17 amps may be a challenge. But nonetheless, that is what the manufacturer does indicate the limit is. Moving along, we've got uh, down here, we've got kind of the controls, uh, circuit breakers. So we have the pump control circuit breaker and the control circuit breaker. Um, and the nice thing about these panels is they do give you a couple of options when it comes to bringing power to the panel. Uh, you have the option of running your controls on a dedicated circuit and the pump on a dedicated circuit, or the, you have the option of just using a single circuit. Of course, there's uh, the, the, a big benefit with operating the controls on a dedicated circuit because um, in the event that you have a pump failure that results in this breaker tripping um, or potentially tripping back to the main breaker uh, that the pump is on, you wouldn't be notified of an alarm condition. So having that on its own, uh, on its own breaker is going to be, or its own dedicated circuit is gonna be advantageous to the reliability of the application. So moving over, we've got the, the terminal strip here. Uh, Orenco does a really good job making these panels really, um, neat and tidy. We've got the terminal strip numbered for, for easy reference uh, when it comes to installing and troubleshooting the panel. Uh, just the small relay located here, which takes care of the si sending the signals throughout the panel um, based on what's going on on the terminal strip and, and through the controls. Um, down here we have our uh, audible alarm. This is just a little alarm speaker. And then we've got the, the, uh, the ground lug in the back here, and that's well, uh, well labeled. Moving over, we've got the push to silence button, which is um, a nice feature to, uh, to have where on, on that button on the outside, there's gonna be an LED. So in the event of an alarm condition, both the horn and the, uh, and the button is going to light up, and then you just push that to silence it so that you can then come over here and try to clear that alarm condition. In most cases, that's just coming over here, flipping it to manual and, and starting the troubleshooting from there. Um, 
These panels do have a very nice feature where Aranko um, does a really good job with, with putting useful information inside of the front door of the panel here. So what we've got is we've got a number of documents. This is going to include wiring diagram, some uh, installation instructions, what not to do's and so forth. Uh, additionally, it's going to include your float switch configuration and uh, it, it may also include um, splice box configurations or at least references to where to get those documents. Um, and if this paperwork ever does disappear, you can actually refer down to the document number on the sticker inside the panel and that's going to allow you to, uh, to look up this document, which is going to refer to any other related documents. So um, never fear if you lose that paperwork because conveniently it's, it's, it's not too difficult to get a hold of. And a person can always give us a call to, to, get that, uh, to get that paperwork if needed. That pretty much sums it up for the, the, the standard features of an S panel. Um, so let's just go over some of the more advanced options that are available when ordering one of these panels. All right, so we're back. Let's uh, take a look at some of the optional features and uh, kind of discuss what we've got available there. So the S panel is, is quite a versatile panel. It, it offers a number of uh, very useful features for a variety of applications. All right, so let's roll through those options. We have the intrinsically safe relay or uh, IR as it's called out in the part number. Um, and what this is is actually gets the panel set up with intrinsically safe relays for a class one, division one uh, hazardous environment pump. Um, the, it is notable though that it, that particular upgrade doesn't fit in this enclosure. You will receive that panel with a slightly larger enclosure. So do be aware of that. You've also got a, a PT programmable timer um, and that is for your time dosed applications. You've got uh, a nice range available to you on that uh, where it's configurable from less than a second all the way up to uh, 30 hours in between your pump cycles. So quite a, quite a range available there. Um, we've got the ETM, uh, that is an elapsed time meter, extremely useful for keeping track of the, the totalized run times of the motor uh, and the pump system, which of course can give you some insight and clues as to the, uh, any problems that arise with the system. Um, the redundant off is an, is, a, is an option that is offered with this particular panel as well. Uh, the redundant off is considered a second off and um, in most configurations is going to sound a low level alarm and it is useful uh, in states that require a redundant off, but a redundant off, even if, if, if it isn't required, is gonna be a useful feature because if you have a malfunction in the system and the pump won't shut off on the off float, the redundant off provides some extra protection to have that pump um, be disabled. So. We've got the CT event counter, which counts the number of alarm conditions that occur. And we also have a heater or HT, which is an anti-condensation heater, which self-adjusts and radiates additional wattage as the temperature drops and more heat is needed. Also, we have the PRL or pump run light, which is just gonna give you a indication uh, through a green light on when the pump is actually running. And also you can have a power light, which is just a light that, that shows that the panel is actually receiving sufficient power. Uh, the surge arrestor is an option with these panel and a surge arrestor simply protects the incoming uh, supply from any electrical surges that occur. Um, and additionally, this panel does feature a test switch, and that is a TS. The test switch actually allows you to test alarm conditions, um, enabling a person to verify that the alarm is working without uh, messing with any floats or anything like that. Uh, especially useful in applications where uh, maybe part of the safety requirement of a company or business where you've got to actually ensure that that alarm's functioning on a somewhat regular basis and not have the hassle of, of activating that. So 
Um, that pretty much summarizes the, the standard um, catalog features that are available um, above and beyond the, the base panel. So if you're, if you're in need of any of those configurations or all of those configurations um, or any configuration thereof, we could certainly uh, oblige. So um, if you enjoyed this video, please make sure you hit that subscribe button and like. Uh, that way you get some more content like this. Additionally, if you have any questions, we, we would love to hear from you in the comments below. Um, and if we get some really good questions, we, we would we would like the opportunity to make a video about it and kind of feature you uh, your questions in, in that video. So that would be a lot of fun. Make sure you visit us at rcworst.com. We'll see you next time.